Hey, welcome back. I'm Dr. Jason Fung. Today what we're going to talk about is how fasting works for weight loss where calorie counting does not. Today I'm going to share with you Eduardo's story with his permission. Eduardo is a client of the fasting method and in 2018 he was pre-diabetic and then he became diabetic and he required medications for that. A friend of his shared with him one of my videos and so he thought about doing the fasting. But the year later, he had lost almost 70 pounds and his diabetes was gone. He was on six different medications for his diabetes and now he was on none and yet his blood sugars were completely normal. He was able to reverse his diabetes just using the fasting. I'm going to show you his fasting regimen at the end and share one of his tips for his success for losing uh, almost 70 pounds and also reversing his type 2 diabetes. Let's get right into it. When we talk about weight loss, most people think about this, the energy balance equation, which is body fat equals calories in cal minus calories out. And while that is true, it doesn't mean what you think it means. Most people think it means that if you simply reduce your calories in, you're going to lose body fat. Let me illustrate. So suppose that we're eating 2000 calories in a day and we're burning 2000 calories in a day. Well, body fat remains stable. Now we want to try to lose weight. So instead of 2000 calories, we're going to try and get rid of that. And we're going to go down to 1500 calories. So we take off a little bit of this box. And what we hope, of course, is that now you've got negative 500 calories and you're going to lose body fat. Unfortunately, that's not what happens. All of the studies we've done to date point to the fact that when you simply reduce those calories in, what happens is that the amount of calories that you expend, which is your basal metabolic rate, also goes down to 1500. So therefore, when you take away these calories, your body simply uses fewer calories and body fat still remains stable and we're not able to lose weight. And that's the big problem with simply counting calories. So how do you think about calories to make this work. So here's the same thing, but drawn a different way. It's still calories in, body fat, which is just, remember, a way to, for your body to store calories, and calories out, which is that your body, when it has calories coming in, can do one of two things with it. It can store it, for example, as body fat, or it can burn it. And that's what's calories out or your basal metabolic rate. So the exact same equation as your energy balance equation, but simply arranged in a different way. And what you can see from this is that when you eat, that is calories are coming in, your body has a decision to make. Should it store this or should it burn it? And how does it make that decision? So what happens when you eat? When you're feeding, you're taking your calories in and your body can burn it or it can store it. Well, suppose we eat from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. That's going to be about half the day. So if you take in 2,000 calories here, you're going to use about 1,000 calories here. The rest of that is going to go into storage. That's 1,000 calories. And the important part here is that you can't metabolize body fat while insulin is high because you're eating. So there's a break here. The calories go here, the calories go here. So what happens when you're not eating? This is the period of fasting. So for example, 8 p.m. and then overnight until 8 a.m., about half the day that you're not eating. Well, there's no more calories in. So what happens is that the hormone insulin starts to fall and that unblocks this. So now you have a clear path for the calories. Those thousand calories that you stored away are now 
able to be used to generate heat for your kidney, your liver, your heart, and for basal metabolic rate. So therefore, if you're feeding, you're storing calories. When you're fasting, you're using calories, and your body really only exists in one of these two states. So if you want to now try to lose weight, you can simply extend this period of fasting because this is the period of time where you've opened up your body's flow so that it can use the body fat because that's really precisely the reason that we carry body fat. So there's really nothing wrong with using it because that's why we stored it in the first place. We're not storing body fat for looks. It's a store of calories. So you're giving your body the time it needs to use these calories up. So why didn't the calorie counting method work? In our example, what we tried to do for counting calories was simply reduce the number of calories we took to 1,500. However, if you don't pay attention to having a good period of fasting and you're eating six, seven, eight times a day and you're eating foods that stimulate insulin, you're keeping your insulin levels high. And what the insulin does is it blocks the ability for you to use your body fat. So you can use these calories, but you're not able to get any more calories out from here. So where you initially started out burning 2,000 calories a day, now you're only taking 1,500, but there's no fuel coming in from your storage. And therefore, your body really has no other option than to reduce this to 1,500. Now there's no calorie deficit anymore. You're taking in 1,500, you're burning 1,500, and you're not losing body fat. And that's why the calorie counting doesn't really work as opposed to making sure that you're focused on correcting the hormones that are going to allow you to lose that weight. And that's this, the insulin, which is gonna allow you to use that body fat. So what fasting regimen did Eduardo use to improve his own health like that? Well, first what he did is some 40 hour fasts, which is a fairly long fast. So you're going more than a full day, but he was motivated and he had spoken to his doctor about adjusting his medications. And he did great. He did that every three days. And when he was traveling, he tried to do it once or twice a week. Then after he got better, he had lost almost 70 pounds. Now he's just trying to do a maintenance. And now he does a lot of 24 hour fasts. I'm not saying this is the right schedule for you, but this is just an example of work for him. And remember, be safe out there when you're fasting, especially if you're gonna do a longer fast. So what was his top tip? Understand what's going on before you start. That is, when you're fasting, there's gonna be a lot of changes that go on in your body. You're gonna have potential side effects. You're gonna have changes perhaps in your blood glucose, changes perhaps in your blood pressure. You may feel hungry, so there's lots of different things that can happen, so you wanna understand what to do about them before. There's plenty of resources out there. There's the Facebook groups, there's the YouTube videos, the other uh, fasting videos in this playlist, for example. I've written a number of blogs at thefastingmethod.com, and there are the books as well, The Complete Guide to Fasting or The Obesity Code. So make sure you have a good understanding of what you're doing before you actually start. So if you're going to do this fasting, make sure you get yourself some knowledge before you start so that you don't run into any of the problems. The community is a great group. You can ask people online. There are plenty of people willing to help. And let's try to help each other. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching. And if you like it, make sure you subscribe.